Hey, what's up traders? Mike here with the watch list video for Thursday, June 29th. This is the daily on the spy. This did not happen. Um, it's like an errant tick or something. I don't know why. It looks like you had this massive run and then a big topping tail. Um, but the spy topped out at 437.44 today, not 453 something, right? So I don't know why it looks like that. But anyway, um, kind of a slow summer day, but we still had some good ideas posted in the chat room. I'll start with uh, NERV. There's the daily, which had the big breakout today. Um, Kevin P, see this high right here that was 959. It came back down. His idea was over this high, which happened right here. In other words, a break of the intraday lower high, um, looking for a push through the higher day. And that actually happened pretty quickly. If you held through the pullback, it even went uh, much farther, uh, but it was a really nice call. Um, J-O-B-Y. I'm actually going to highlight a trade. Let me go to the daily that I'm, I'm actually really proud of. Okay, so big breakout on Joby today. Um, and I'm going to talk about why I'm proud of the trade. I'm proud of the trade because it took off out of the gate and I managed to never find a way in, right? So then I just thought, well, I'll see if it gives a clean setup that, you know, that we teach. And I literally caught the exact bottom tick um, of, whoops, of this candle. I work with me here. Um, the bottom of that candle was 841, which is exactly where I got filled. Um, but the idea was a fives buy zone. So it could have been anywhere in the 840s would have made sense right in the middle of that fives buy zone that we teach. Um, there's a screenshot of my post in chat, fives buy zone idea. Um, and as I wrote there, the reason I'm proud of it is because I missed this huge run. I mean, look at it from seven all the way to, by the way, I'm not proud of that, that I didn't find a way in, but I am proud that I still had a decent trade um, from 841 to 904 on a stock that had already made a huge move using an intelligent entry that we teach, right? So um, yes, I missed out on the big move, but I always tell people back in the day, I used to say, well, I guess I missed that one because you know you learn early on in your trading career not to chase. Um, but I've since said, okay, but let's look for a clean pullback into a buy zone. And so I still got a pretty nice little chunk of money out of that missing the big move. All right, anyway. Um, with that said, we'll just talk about this one first. It's certainly way ahead of itself, but they had nice news today. We're gonna to watch that one tomorrow. You guys know I'm a day trader, so these are things that may give me a trade tomorrow. NERV may give a trade tomorrow. It had a big breakout today. ACIU, big move yesterday, kind of a quiet inside day today. I'm looking for a third day play there. CNTG, a big move today. I caught a couple pullbacks in this one, but still not proud of the way I traded it. I'm green on the name, but I uh, feel like I could have made much more. Um, but anyway, I, I, that, that one's super strong, so we're gonna watch it. I had BOF on Bounce Watch today, and you might look at that, you know, it's only been trading for what, six or seven days? You might look at that and say, yeah, I remember that from the video last night. You were looking for a bounce play. Wow, you're smart. Look at that great big bounce. Um, except that I never found a way in. I, I really wasn't watching it, and by the time I noticed it, um, because it wasn't doing it, it had no volume at all. Then I was thinking this big volume push. Um, I guess I could have stayed with it and maybe taken it right here after this kind of little flag. But you can see whenever there's gaps between five minute candles on an intraday basis, you know you're dealing with a thin stock, right? So it's really not tradable. Um, I could have maybe just Tokyoed it on this volume spike had I been watching it at the time and low up day stop and let it work or not work. Um, but we do have a nice green day today, so I will watch it again tomorrow. But this really doesn't seem like there's enough volume to day trade the thing. Um, CVNA, Carvana, a lot of shorts in the name and back up near recent highs. The high of this day was 28.52 and then today's high, 28.40. So certainly interesting over today's high, knowing that 28.52 could be kind of a pure breakout above that, right? Um, CVNA. IONQ, massive breakout today on that. We're going to watch this one. That one, this is a sleeper pick, <laughs> and I probably shouldn't have it on watch. LVLU had a big volume spike back here about four days ago and it's starting to curl back up. But, you know, it's worth noting it barely traded 200,000 shares today. I don't know anything about the stock, um, but it's kind of an interesting chart. Again, kind of like BOF, probably not going to be enough volume to even find a trade in it. UCAR, big pop originally, then a secondary pop, and then um, you had the tertiary pop, if you will that topped out at 919 and it's kind of flagging since then. Um, and I believe this is a car, used car dealership, maybe company in China. So if Carvana breaks out this one, that might be why this one showed some strength today. Um, but there was some Chinese car news that spiked back here. Um, so this is a good one to have on watch, UCAR. 
a couple more BDTX also a big rip yesterday quiet inside day today looking for a third day play and then SLRN had a huge rip three sessions ago now you got two days lower uh, I believe on declining volume I don't know why some of these newer issues I don't get any volume sticks on it so again I'm trying to get used to new charts um, I'm not sure what's going on there but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this right back on the bounce playlist. No trades into today. Short and sweet today. I'm done battling. We'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning.